so surah al imran 3 and ayah 84 qul amanna billahi wa ma unzila alayna wa ma unzila ala ibrahim wa ismail wa ishaq wa yaqub wal asbati wa ma utiya musa wa isa wan nabiyyun min rabbihim la nufarriqu bayna ahadin minhum wa nahnu lahu muslimun say we believe in allah and it in what has been revealed to us and what was revealed to ibrahim alayhi salam ismail ishaq yaqub and the tribes and in the books given to Mo Musa and Isa and, and the prophets from the Lord, we make no distinction. We make no distinction between one another among them and to Allah we do submit. And the word in Arabic is Muslims. That is our belief. We believe. Allah said we believe in Allah. So when I'm reading this ayah, you will come across many people will say, well, everybody believes in God. What's so big about it? So I say, which Allah is a word in Arabic, which has occurred in the Quran 2697 times the word Allah in the Quran. And that Allah is with above 99 attributes, his personality. Allah mentioned in the Quran the word 2697 times with an attributes above 99 that Allah I'm talking about not the Christian Father Son and Holy Ghost that is their God concept of Allah God they say concept of God Rama a man God Krishna a man God or they say cow a God and what not I don't want to into details if you want to study comparative religion you read all the other people's God you understand what is a God so when we say Allah, they say we believe also in God. Everybody believes in God. I said no, there's a very distinction, big distinction when we say Allah or translated as God because we say God, he's thinking Father, Son and Holy Ghost. He's thinking Rama as God. We are not talking about Rama or Krishna or Jesus as God. We are talking of Allah with 99 above attributes as a personality. So when we say Qul, Allah says Amanna Billahi, say we believe in Allah. So we must know what Allah we are talking about. So we search in the Quran and then we come to know this is Allah. This is what he says. This is his personality. This is what we do. Then we come to know the personality of Allah. Not just the word Allah, Allah or God translated or Khuda translated the word. We believe in Khuda. What Khuda? What God? We are talking about Allah mentioned in the Quran. Find out, search his personality. Then you say, I believe in Allah. So when we say, Qul, Allah says, Qul, say, believe in Allah. Amanna billahi. Wa ma unzila alayna. And what has been revealed to us? What revealed to us? You see, I, this, is a, this is a Quran in Arabic. Most of us, we don't know Arabic we are because we are not Arab, Arabs. I said, do you believe in this book? Oh, yes, sure, I believe in this book. This is Quran? Oh, yes, I, is. I believe, in, believe in the book. Then I pick up a Bible. I said, do you, do you believe in the Bible? He said, no, I don't believe in the Bible. I said, have you read the Bible? No, I have not read the Bible. I said, have you read the Quran? No, I have not read the Quran. I said, you have not read the Quran. You have not read the Bible. But you believe in the Quran and you don't believe in the Bible. How is it possible? How can you say all that? I am talking to not go intellectual people say that. Learned people will tell you, I believe in the Quran. What Quran? I believe, but I don't believe Bible. I don't believe Gita. I don't believe Krishna, Rama or whatever. Ever stuff. I am asking you, have you gone through these books? No, I have not gone. But I believe. What belief? So that is known as I told you in the beginning, faith. He is just talking about his faith. Akidah. Nothing else. Iman means confirmation. You have to prove. So when you read the Quran, then you come to know the revelation. So Allah says, say we believe in Allah and what has been revealed to us. What the knowledge you get from this is your revelation to you. And what وَمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ And what was given to Ibrahim or revealed to Ibrahim. Ismail wa Ishaq wa Yaqub wa Asbat wa ma utiya Musa wa Isa wa nabiyun and the prophets is from the Lord. 
So now they say, look, we also believe in Ibrahim. You also believe in Ibrahim. The Christian will come and tell you. I said, what, what Ibrahim? Your is Abraham. That was translated here in also Abraham of the Bible. We believe Ibrahim salam, of the Quran. 67 times his name is mentioned in the Quran. Ibrahim salam. You read in the Quran and find out his personality in the Quran. What Allah mentions about Ibrahim He is the father. You want to follow him? You must know your father's system, the millat. You read in the Quran and find out what he's mentioning to you about Ibrahim al-Islam. Nobody knows. What he knows is what the Bible is projecting about Abraham. He said, we, you believe in Ibrahim, we also believe. I said, what? We believe in Ibrahim al-Islam of the Quran. His name is mentioned in the Quran 67 times. That personality we believe in. So Allah says, believe in what is sent down to Ibrahim al-Islam. Ismail, his son, mentioned in the Quran 12 times. We must know his personality. Ishaq, his personality is mentioned in the Quran 17 times. Yaqul Aslam 16 times. And Asbat, Wa ma utiya Musa wa Isa. And what is given to Musa alayhi salam? His name, Musa alayhi salam, name is in the Quran 136 times. The highest number, highest number, his personality, Musa alayhi salam, is mentioned in the Quran in the highest number. 136 times. What is given to Musa alayhi salam and Isa alayhi salam? Isa alayhi salam's name is mentioned 25 times. Why I'm saying these times, I'm trying to say, tell you, these are the, even one time or two times, whatever is mentioned in the Quran, how much we know about their personalities. Because all my life, I've never heard in any religious gathering talking about these personalities. We are hearing the personality of one man only. And Allah says, La nufarriqu bayna ahadim minhum. That we do not make distinction among the prophets. None. So why don't we talk about it? Because we don't know. You have to know this is Quran. Allah is mentioning about these personalities in the Quran. We must know their personalities. And what has been revealed to them. We must know them. Because they are, they are our guides, marks. We should know them. That is why Allah says, لا نفرق بين أحد منهم ونحن له مسلمون That we do not make distinction among the prophets and among what has been sent to them. Whatever has been sent to them, the revelation, we do not make distinctions. We do not make distinctions among the prophets and we are Muslims. So Muslim is a person who do not make distinction among the prophets. To him, Musa is salam and Isa is salam and Muhammad, peace be upon him, are same. No distinction. Because they made a distinction. The Jews distort the personality of Moses and they are holding fast to him. The Christians are falling to Jesus. They are holding fast to Jesus. We are not supposed to make any sort of distinction. We are following Allah's religion. And what Allah says, لا نفرق بين أحد منهم ونحن له مسلمون That we do not make distinction among the prophets, among anybody. We are Muslims. That's it. To all of us. That is our belief, our iman. Qul amanna. Amanna means we believe in Allah. Wa ma unzila alayna, wa ma unzila ala Ibrahima, wa Ismaila, wa Ishaqa, wa Yaquba, wa Lasbati, wa ma utiya Musa, wa Isa, wa nabiyyun and the prophets. Mir rabbihim, la nufarriqu bayna ahadim minhum, wa nahnu lahu muslimun. So this is a Muslim standpoint. He is above all racism. He does not believe in any kind of racism. He is not holding fast to any one personality. Only Allah is a personality and we make no distinction among the revelation and as a prophet. That is our Muslim belief. Al-Imran 3 and Ayah 64. قُلْ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ تَعَلَوْا إِلَىٰ كَلِمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ أَلَّا نَعْبُدَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَا نُشِكَ بِي شَيْءًا وَلَا يَتَّخِذَ بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا أَرْبَابًا مِّن دُونِ اللَّهِ فَإِن تَوَلَّوْا فَقُولُ شَدُوا بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ Say, O people of the book, come to common terms as between us and you that we worship none but Allah. That we associate no partners with him, 
that we erect no not from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah if they turn back say bear witness that we are Muslims now the first before and I just before I, I was trying to tell you what is our belief as a Muslim now the Quran is full of so many things but I'm just taking few eyes to explain the things here the ayah says what is the job of a Muslim what is the job of a Muslim Allah explain how Qul say ya al al kitab O oh people of the book come ta'ala ila kalimatin sabaim bainana wa bainakum come to common terms come to one kalima and if you see in the Arabic who can read the word Arabic kalama means word come to one word which the Abdullah Yusuf Ali translation is common terms because the word is a common factor the word kalima قُلْ يَا عَلَى الْكِتَابِ تَعَلَوْا إِلَىٰ كَلِمَةٍ إِلَىٰ كَلِمَ كَلِمَ means word come to common terms or the words now I would like to explain uh, a very a wrong concept has been prevailed you see the book here the uh, address is يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَاب O people of the book now generally when you are reading a translation the book they will refer to the interpretations people interpret as Jews and Christians when Allah says Qul ya al -kitab, the people will understand generally that it is referring to the Jews and the Christians the word in Arabic is Al Kitab the word in Arabic is Al Kitab which simple translation is the book and this book of Allah begins in Surah Baqarah 2, Surah first ayah, Thalik al Kitab la fi, that this is the book, the same al Kitab which does not have a doubt. So, who are the people of the book? Who are the people of the book? The ones who have got this book. The ones who have got this book is the people are the people of the book. All over the world, who are having this book in their house. There are so many times, number of times the Quran speaks of the Kitab, Al Al Kitab, O people of the book, Utul Kitab, give, people who have been given the book, and so many times the book, the book, the book. And the learned man, most of the time the prophets were given to the book. It is referred to the book, this book, Allah's book. But now what has happened when Allah says about the people of the book, the Jews and Christians are bringing the Bible. Okay, this is the book we are we referred as. You have got the Quran says about the Al Kita. We are the Al Kita. We are the people of the book. Or even if they don't want to, then you want to give them the label, because you don't want to do the job. You say these are the people of the book. So how do we analyze that which book is talking about? It is in the ayah. I will read again. O people of say O people of the book, come. Taalau ila kalima. And believe me, this word kalima means the word. Word, which word? Which is sabaim bainana bainakum wa bainakum. Which is a common word between you and us. This book is common between the Muslim world. How can Bible be common with the Quran? Bible cannot be a common term between a Christian and a Muslim. Never. Never. It cannot be. Because Bible is something else. Allah is referring to the person who has got this book in his house the Quran this book so he's asking because the ayah ends with the Muslim the Muslims duty is to call these people of the book who has got the book in their houses they don't know, do nothing about the book so the, they are the book they are just got in their shelves they're lying this is our Quran this lying in the house they are not doing the jobs so Allah says Qul, tell them Ya al kitab come ta'ala wila kalimatin sawaim bainana wa bainakum come to common terms which is one word which is between us is common with you Allah na'buda illallah that we worship none but Allah wala nushik nushika bi shayyam wala yattakhira ba'duna ba'duna arbabam min dunillah and that we associate no partners with him we don't associate no partners no Muslim does it that we erect not from among ourselves lords and patrons this we are doing it that we do not erect not from among ourselves lords and patrons how we are doing it there is a learned man a very religious pious man we'll say he's a very learned man 
we must follow him there is another learned man we must follow him then there is another learned man i am asking these people if somebody is a learned man or a good well learned on the quran or he is practicing good muslim if he is good you can't become good by following him you have to follow the quran because he is good because he was reading the quran and practicing the quran that pious man any pious man if he is a good personality he is a reading a reader of the quran and he is a practicing good muslim so now you say he is a very good man allah allah ko pahuncha diya allah has put him near to in, into the garden you saying giving him jannah you we we is pahunche he is near to god how do we know we don't know nothing but we say this man is good so what i am trying to say by his goodness by his being good does not give you jannah does not give you goodness you have to be good yourself so allah said that we erect not from among ourselves lords and patrons we don't get hold of to them that he is a good religious man get hold of that this is a good man get hold of him no 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 nothing can do that so these four points he says allah then he says fa in tawallaw and if these people of the book turn back fa qulu shadu bi anna muslimun say to them we are muslims we are muslims the one who are practicing not just keeping the book in their house as an idol we are practicing people so allah says tell them we are muslims if they turn back if they don't listen to the message of allah then we are just muslim tell them so this is of a job of a muslim another story has been surah uh, before i, I surah yunus that is 10 and ayah 90 Uh, now, before I read this ayah or verses, three verses that is ninety, ninety-one, and ninety-two, I am going to again. There's a misconcept in the Muslim society. I would not say Muslim society. It is, but uh, unfortunately, I'm using the word Muslim. It is a concept among the society that whoever says there is La ilaha illallah, there is no deity except Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. anybody says that he will go into janna whether what character what personality whatever he does just i have said there is no deity except allah and muhammad is the messenger of allah that janna is mine no problem i do the evil i kill people i gamble i do all what i want but i have said i am a muslim i have said la ilaha illallah i don't believe other people as god but i believe in allah so this kind of theology is being a uh, practice among general people i am not labeling anybody but this just is is become a very famous thing at least i have said la ilaha illallah and jannat is definitely mine so we are looking from the quran an aspect that does any person who doesn't practice according to islam and his allah's message can we get jannah in the last moment of his life if i have in my last moment i do all the arrogant of if i am arrogant and i don't practice islam at all and when i'm dying on my bed and i say there is no god and except allah i have said la ilaha illa muhammad kalma padho ji last minute is give him some ask him to recite the kalma so he says la ilaha illa muhammad and he's dead oh no problem now he's in jannah no problem and so so that is what we are trying to analyze does the quran give us any clue that is it possible so this this three verses is in history is is relating of a time of Musa alayhi salam the messenger of Allah Allah sent Musa alayhi salam to the pharaoh the firaun and when he goes there and he delivers the message to the to the pharaoh this pharaoh of firaun rebels and he had a and there's a whole big uh, narration in the Quran many at many places that he do not accepted Islam he was again and again confronting with Musa prophet peace be upon him So now what happens that uh, th- this story is a is a is a play, is, is is a this story is a narration where that Musa alayhi salam is uh, he the pharaoh had a bondage of the children of Israel he had in bondage these people and Musa alayhi salam want to take them out from the bondage of the pharaoh and uh, he takes these children of Israel and he's passing through a river this is the relationship in this in the mention of the Quran So when he passes the river the pharaoh follows him to get hold of Musa salam and the the children of Israel so this is the situation 
وجاوزنا ببني اسرائيل البحر فاتبعهم فرعون وجنوده بغيا وعدوى حتى اذا ادركه الغرق قال امنت انه لا اله الا الذي امنت به بنو اسرائيل وانا من المسلمين قال انا وقد عصيت قبل وكنت من المفسدين فاليوم ننجيك ببدنك لتكون لمن خلفك آية وإن كثيرا من الناس عن آياتنا لغافلون So Allah explained we that we is Allah we took the children of Israel across the sea Pharaoh and his, for, his host followed them Musa salam and the children of Israel in insolence and spite at length when overwhelmed with flood he said who? the Pharaoh said now look he's saying the kalma in the Arabic La ilaha He's saying it in the last moment when he knew that he's going to go into the sea, he's going to be killed now, his last moment of his life, he says the kalma, La ilaha illa alladhi amanat bi banu Israel wa ana min al-Muslimin. So he says, I believe there is no God except Him, Allah Almighty, whom the children of Israel believe in. And I am of those who submit, in Arabic is Muslimin. He is wanting to become a Muslim now. At the last critical moment of his life, all his life he was the arrogant man. He claimed himself as God, as Allah, Rabb. He said, I am the Rabb, I am the Lord. And he was arrogant with all his life. But in the last moment of his life, he could see the reality. So he said, La ilaha illa alladhi amanat bi banu Israel wa ana min al muslimin. He says, I believe there is no God except Him, the Almighty. Whom the children of his life believe in, and I am of those who submit. I want to be a Muslim. Now, what does Allah answers? Al ana wa qad asayta qablu wa kunta min al mufsidin. Ah, now, but a little while before was thou in rebellion, and thou did mischief and violence. Fal yawma nunajika bi badini kali takuna liman khalfa ka aya. This day shall we save thee in thy body, that thou mayest be a sign of those. Who come after thee, and verily among men, among men, mankind are hillish to our signs. Now this passage 92 ayah is a very revealing ayah. Allah says, "This day I shall save thee in thy body." You will notice. You may, may have heard of. I don't know. You must have heard, of course, that there is a pharaoh. His body is preserved. His body is preserved, and there are researches. Scientists are doing research on the body. To find out how the body is preserved. So Allah made it a sign for all of us. To people to come after Pharaoh. That look he was the claiming God Almighty. He is the man who used to say that I am Rabb or Lord. You can go and verify that body is there. This ayah you can verify. You can go and verify this body is there. People have not yet been able to find out how the body is preserved. How many years? Thousands? We don't know. And there is a gentleman who come to me another day and he's asking me, look, I've read the Pharaoh's dynasty. Number one Pharaoh, two Pharaoh, three, four, of all the historical evidence of Pharaoh dynasty. I don't know how many Pharaohs are there. And he was, I, I said, did you find Musa Salam in the Pharaoh's historical dynasty? He said, no. Who is Moses? I said, you don't know? He said, no man, there is no record of history. Our history is of authentic history. In the, all these Pharaoh's dynasty, there is no Moses, peace be upon him, mentioned. I said, the man who trembled his kingdom, you don't know? He said, no, it is not there. So the, he's trying to say, your Quran is speaking the false. And he's quoting in history and he believes in history. He said, that is truth. So I said, how do you know that what is the truth, that history or the Quran? So I said, look, the Quran gives you the clue. With Musa Salam, we read the ayah and we come to know that his body is preserved. This day, fal yawma nunajika bi badani ka li takuna liman khulfa ka aya wa inna kathira minan nasi an ayatina laga filun. This day, we shall, shall we save thee in thy body, that thou may be a sign to those who come after thee. You can go and verify. It will be a sign to you people, all of us, and after people, our us, and then again. And but verily, Allah says, many among mankind are heedless to our signs that he did not get salvation. His body was preserved for us to take lesson 
that last minute kalma is no more la ilaha illa muhammad rasulullah will not save you you have to do your life according to the allah's plan you have to lead your life according to quranic ayats the the with your choice but surah qalam or noon 68 I have 35, 36, and 37, 38. But again, again, will people say, "All oh, these your ideas, man? We don't believe it." I have said, "I have said, La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah," and and he will give his arguments, and I don't want to discuss that. But you know, Quran gives you again an, an answer in these ayahs. If somebody argues without any proof, you give him the proof. He says here, "Afa najalul muslimin akal mujrimin." Shall we treat? the people of faith or who are muslims in arabic it is muslims like the people of sin people who do wrong and people who are right good works muslims shall we treat them equal ma lakum kayfa tahkumun what is the matter with you how how can you judge like that am lakum kitabun fihi tadrusun or have you a book through which you learn all that inna lakum fihi lama takhayrun that you shall have though through it whatever you choose you see again and again people want to you know try to content themselves well allah is uh, might you know we what do you know that god almighty is maybe find out some good deed in me that he'll put me into heaven one of the good he doesn't know anything he's a sleeping god he's just thinking maybe this guy has done a good one thing one thing how can you understand that he is giving you a complete system to follow and this guy is thinking you don't know man Maybe one deed is is looking for my one deed. I do all the corruption. Maybe by one deed he'll put me into heaven. One deed, he's thinking like that. God is maybe thinking, oh, this guy has done one good. Oh, that is very nice. I love him. He's done it this. So it is not like that. You have to do some work because you are a criminal. You do crimes, and do you expect that this criminal should be let out free? Why do you put him in jail? Because they are criminals. And do you expect God Almighty to treat him treat the same way? that the criminal should be also get jannah and the person who is striving for life for goodness he and they are equal just because of one good deed you think he'll put you into heaven that's not fact so this verse is afa najalul muslimina kal mujrimin shall we treat them the people of faith the believers like the people of sin who are wrong ma lakum kayfa tahkumun how what is the matter how do you judge like judge, judge like that we don't judge like in our lives we even our lives we don't judge like that am lakum kitabun fi tadrasun or you have got a book through which you learn all this in lakum fi lama takhayyarun that you shall have though whatever you choose but we do wrong but we go to jannah no problem and the other fellow putting fatwas to other people because jannah is mine i am god almighty now so billah astaghfirullah and putting that guy will go to hell fire that why guy will go to the, you have not conveyed the message but that guy is a kafir i am asking What was Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's message? What was Jesus' message? What was Moses' message? They all gave the message. They didn't say you are a kafir, you are a wrong man. We will put you into hellfire. You are a kafir, you don't get jannah. I am asking these prophets. They first convey the message. The Pharaoh was conveyed the message of God. We have not yet done that, but we have labeled them as wrong because we think we are gods. We have taken for granted that we are sitting in jannah, looking downwards to people who are going into hellfire, thinking very happy about it. it's not like that we have to do certain job surah al imran 102 ayah 